Hello, my name is Jason Dragon from Emerald Computers. I also have the domain name EmeraldEtheriumRigs.com and I have built literally a hundred mining computers so far. Uh, I probably build about another five to ten almost every week right now because the price of Ethereum is way up and people are interested in having more rigs. I build rigs for myself also and I also for customers in a hurry will sell them one of the rigs that I've built right away. One of my plans is that I sell turnkey rigs which means rigs that are 100% ready to go. In fact before they even leave my building I make sure they mine for at least 24 hours on your account so that you can log into the mining area and you can see how the mining is going, what the performance of the computers are, and then I package it up and ship it to you. The most common mining rig that people talk about, at least, are the six card mining rig systems right over here. People like to do six card systems because the reason they do that is because most motherboards have six, well, most high-end motherboards have six slots where you could physically attach a card. But I have found a lot of problems with these six card rigs. The first and foremost problem is, well, they're open, so they're almost impossible to ship. The second problem is they are very finicky. With the new 580 and 570 video cards out there, the drivers don't even necessarily work with more than one card in order to do mining without extensive tweaking. So, unless you're a really big computer expert and a computer geek, and you want to just have the technical challenge of building a six card rig, I would not and I repeat, not suggest building an open six card rig, which is what everybody floods with all over the internet. Look at all these. And this is a really cute one right there. Look at that. Now, if you're a very much a professional and you're going to be building an entire, you know, shelving unit like this, or you want to build where, you know, you're investing 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars into mining equipment. Yes. Let's build some six card rigs. That's going to be the biggest bang for the buck. But if you're anything less than a full-time miner who has tens of thousands of dollars, I plead with you, don't build a six card rig. You'll be pulling your hair out. I have at least five people who purchased six card rigs off either by themselves and tried to build it themselves or they built it from uh, they had somebody else build it and ship it to them i've had five of the six people that i know that have done this have asked me to buy their rigs off of them because they couldn't figure it out they could not get it to work they were losing mining time losing hashing time and it just frustrated them to death. So unless you want to babysit your six card rig and you know a lot about computers, please don't build one. Don't invest in one. You're not going to make the money back that you think you are because you can't babysit it properly. And so what's the solution? The solution is let's build some smaller rigs that are much more turnkey, much easier to manage. So what I've done is because Emerald Computers is also one of the leading computer recycling companies here in Arizona, we get an ample supply of used chassis, used computers. So what I've done is I found a silver case. It looks very much like a rack mount case and it allows you to put one card in it, just one. You don't need to have all the fancy stuff because you're only using one card. You don't need a really fancy power supply. Yeah, I'm just the, the basic power supply that comes with, that came with the case. It's only a 450 and it's more than enough. In fact, most of my mining computers, over two thirds of my hashing power is currently in these silver cases and they work fine. And let me show you the math on why they work. So here we go. 
let's start. Most of mine are a little bit older. I started back in the 370, 380 days. I built a whole bunch with the 370 series and eventually um, went to the 380. Then I went to the 480. And now I build all my machines with the 580 video card. I actually like the 480 better. It actually performed right around the same uh, rate. And it was slightly cheaper than the 580. But now... There are no more 480s. You can't go online and buy a 480 for anything less than what you could just buy a 580 for. So there is no more savings. Um, the performance difference between the 480 and the 580, um, I noticed that the 480s were only getting about 21 to 23 mega hash. Except for the Sapphire brand, they usually consistently got 25. And in the 580, I haven't tested all the brands yet. But most of the brands all get a solid 24, 25. And when I'm saying this, I'm saying this without any BIOS upgrades or overclocking or undervoltaging of any kind. Just leaving it stock. You can always go and do that if you want to on yours. So let's do some basic math. The, let me, let me slow this up here so we can only just read one. So the RX 570 in a silver kiosk case, I sell that for $370. And when you get it from me, it's already loaded, ready to go. The software is up and running. It's mining and it already mines on your account before it even leaves my office. So you basically plug it into a wall and it mines. Um, I'm just going to be, you know, low ball, 18 mega hash is what I'm going to say the 570 gets. Um, I've only built the 470 and I've been reading the 570 gets about 18 mega hash. I honestly think it probably gets a little bit less than that unless you do a lot of tweaking to it. So at 18 mega hash, you'll res at today's rate, this is as of like five minutes ago, you would, uh, with the difficulty, because you got to remember difficulty goes up. And as difficulty goes up, the, you, you'll earn less Ethereum per day per hour per whatever you want to do, call it per month now the goal is is to see the price of ethereum let's change over to the price of ethereum in dollars because bitcoin's fluctuating a lot and we don't want to see it in dollars so basically here's the last month in the price of ethereum and here's the last month in the difficulty of ethereum and luckily the price is actually going up faster than the difficulty and for the last year or so that i've been in this except for one or two minor exceptions the price has always outpaced the difficulty so i'm going to assume that let's just assume that the price and the difficulty on average stay exactly the same. So that's why I was able to just say USD per month, because this is what it would be with right now if you mine it at today's price with today's information. But of course the difficulty, so the amount of Ethereum you're going to get is going to go down, but the amount that it's worth is going to go up and they're going to basically offset each other. And if they evenly do it, then their, the amount of money you make per month mining should stay stable. And because most people mine and the miners set the price in a lot of ways that has become it. Now, if the computer costs 370 to buy from me, we need to figure out into our formula to see how profitable we're going to be we need to also add the resale value of the system and i decided a 12 month period would be where we were at and i figure on the silver kiosk it's a it's actually a pretty decent little core 2 duo machine with four gigs of ram a 160 gig hard drive and if you go and you sell the video card a 12 months from now you should easily be able to get 150 dollars for the video card and you should easily be able to get a hundred dollars for the machine so i came up with a resale value right here of 250. now it's going to use about 200 kilowatt hours of electricity it's very very light on the electricity because it is such a small system so based upon my cost um here in arizona that would cost about sixteen dollars per month in electricity uh, giving you a 12 month cost of 562 dollars but the money that it generates 
during that time, just in the Ethereum cost, uh, Ethereum income would be $759. Now, as I said before, we're going to assume that price increases. So this number also would forcibly assume that you sell the Ethereum just as fast as you mine it. Because if you sell it, if you hold on to it, then you're actually going to get a lot more money at the end. I've made almost all, I made most of my money by not selling the stuff that I mined when the difficulty was a lot less. So instead of me only earning, you know, $63, $65 a month, I've earned in the range of four or $500 a month on a lot of these machines simply because I was mining when the price was $7. And I haven't sold that, the Ethereum, that, Back then, when the price was seven dollars, I still have that same Ethereum in sitting in my big bank in my in my um, Ethereum account. Anyway, I, uh, on a side note, just because we're going to have a little bit more fun here, I did buy my kids some fidget spinners today, and I got myself one too. Anyway, I never had a fidget spinner before; just got them. It's kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> just want to have some humor in life. So let's go through twelve month revenue. Now, the total profit includes um, the difference between the cost of operating the machine, the revenue, and also the, the this cost right here, the 562. It also, if you can see the, uh, well, you can't see the formula, but it, I'll move it down so you can see the formula. The formula also includes the, um, the cost of actually buying the machine. So you're going to spend... So the $16 is how much you spend per month times 16 times 12 definitely is not 562. Um, the main cost is the cost of the computer. So you have the cost of the computer, but the revenue does not include the selling price of the computer, but the total profit does. So using this particular spec of computer for a one year period, you should expect a, a return of 221%. So if you invested $10,000 today, you should expect $22,000 back at you. So that's pretty good. Now let's, let's change the numbers a little bit. Now, of course, I said I don't mine with the 170, with the 570 anymore. I mine with the 580. And this is the configuration I, I do. The difference between the the 570 and the 580 is literally 20 bucks. And I have no idea with the massive amount of extra Ethereum you're going to get, why would you ever buy a 570? I mean, you'll get that $20 back in the first month because it makes $21 more per month. So unless wherever you buy from has a shortage of 580s and there's no way for you to get a 580, I wouldn't mind with a 570. Of course, if the price goes up to maybe a hundred dollars difference later on, as the 580s become scarcer and harder to find, that then you might want to mine with the 570. So I figure it costs 20 bucks more now, so you'll probably be able to sell for 20 bucks more later on. So the resale value is the same is only is basically 20 bucks more, and the purchase price is 20 bucks more. Um, it does use about 40 watts more in electricity, from what I've read, uh, which is going to cost you an extra three dollars a month to run it. But the difference is now you're going to make a thousand twelve dollars on a 12 month revenue, and that is a profit of 661. That is a 270 percent return on your money. You get all your money back plus 1.7 times more of your money. So for an investment. Of ten thousand bucks, you're looking at twenty six thousand dollars coming back at you. Now we're making a lot of assumptions here uh, th that the difficulty and the price go together, um, that you'll be able to sell it, um, that we won't have any hardware failures during the time. Now the next thing that I like to do is build. Um, if you if you want to upgrade up your resale value and lose less money, you can actually build it into a nice little case. I use a gaming case because the gaming cases have more fans. It's not a high-end gaming case, just a, a entry-level gaming case. And it has a lot more fans, a lot more cooling, um, but we're still going to just go for low-end CPU, low-end hard drive, 4 gigs of RAM, 
to build a system like that, you're looking at 700 bucks. But you'll be able to, you know, if you look at the silver kiosk, the silver, the silver computer, you're not going to be able to resell for a lot. It doesn't look so pretty. Um, but this one, you can resell it for probably 70 bucks less than you paid for it. So far, I have sold about two-thirds of the mining. Well, I constantly build mining rigs. I sell the ones I have, and I build more with the proceeds. And I will tell you, every mining rig that I have sold so far, I have sold for more than it has cost me to build. And even when, um, in December, when we hit the two gig limit and I had six cards that only had two gigs of RAM on it, I sold every single one of those cards for more than they cost me. Simply because the, the, by then, the prices of the used cards were actually more than they were when they were brand new. Because, interestingly about cards, when they first come out, it's actually one of the cheapest price points to buy them. A year later, and people get attached to a particular card and they want a particular card, the resale price of that card almost always exceeds that of the new price. Go on eBay right now. Look at what cards were selling for a year ago, brand new, and look up those same cards on eBay right now. And even after being used, even for mining, they're selling for more than they were brand new. So that's why I feel confident that, you know, you'll actually get way more than 630. If you market it correctly, I'm selling these at such a low price and they're so nice that you can literally use this computer, mine for a whole year, and I think selling it for 630 would be a very easy task. Now, of course, it has a little bit higher in power supply, a little bit, well, I would, would say um, the CPU and the hard drive probably use about the same amount of RAM. The power supply does use, I mean, the same amount of power. The power supply maybe uses an extra 10 watts. So we'll go with 250 on that. Now, because it is still, you know, you're going to get the same monthly revenue and but you're getting a little bit more profit simply because of the higher resale value percentage but you're getting a much lower return on investment simply because it's a higher more expensive computer to begin with so if you invested ten thousand dollars in that you'd only be getting twenty thousand dollars back now let's go with um, a two rx 580s in one case. Now, all you really have to do is make a little bit more powerful power supply, which costs a little bit more money. And now we also need to put in a second video card, which of course costs more money. We've basically doubled the mega hash. I'm still being very conservative on these numbers. You might get a higher mega hash. Um, now you're getting 1.35 Ethereum per month for the first month, $168 a month. And I think that 168, as long as they're, you know, tied together, will keep going. We'll probably get a higher resale value out of this. Now, I, I marked the resale value down $200 here and only $70 here. Simply, well, actually, that's probably not bad. Let's change it to $850. Um, simply because, you know, you're not going to be able to sell it as a complete unit. You are going to have to sell the video card separately than the actual computer. So you take the computer with one video card, sell that to a gamer. And then you just take the other video card and put it up on eBay. And you're going to have some costs and some, and I'm including some of your, you know, how much time it's going to take and all that type of stuff. Um, it's going to use more power, 150 watts more because of the extra second video card. But it's going to make $1,489 total profit in a one-year period, including the, after you sell the item. So for a $10,000 investment, you're looking at almost $25,000 coming back to you. I mean... You can't get that in real estate, trust me. <laughs> so let's just assume the, the nicest thing about all of these mining computers, if you were to get one of the ones that are in a silver kiosk, eh, you could put those on a shelf and maybe use it. It is a little bit noisy. Um, but if you get one of the, the ones in these gaming cases, you literally can use these to replace a computer that you already have at your home or already have at your office. It's not going to be like a six card rig that nobody can touch it. Nobody can use it. It has to sit in the corner somewhere. Um, you, you don't want to use that. I mean, like I'm doing video recording on this computer. This is my main computer that I serve my files on. And, you know, I also have one video card in it that I'm mining with right there. Look, 
And this computer minds, hey, look at I even just solved a couple solutions right there. Um, but my computer that I use in and, in and out every single day, it mines. And because I can sit here and monitor it very, very easily, you know, I can, it doesn't, it's not like you're buying a piece of hardware that nobody's using. You're able to actually use your investment. So that being said, if you're going to actually be using the computer, you might as well, well spend a little bit more money, go with a high-end gaming CPU, um, a 240 gig SSD, um, 8 gigs of RAM, and that's going to increase the price by 300 bucks. Those those three changes. But it's going to make the computer resell for an extra 300 bucks. So in reality, it doesn't cost you any more money, but you get to have a much nicer computer during that time that you're mining. And if you're only going to be, say you decide you only want to build two mining machines, I would highly suggest just, you know, if you and your wife want to use it or you and a colleague, you know, you just build two mining machines and you use them for what they're supposed to be, you know, for as a computer. You just, it's, it's, a, it's a really nice computer that just happens to mine in the background. It's completely usable. I mean, I play video games while mining at full speed. I will tell you some of the games, it'll drop my, 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 my mega hash is right around 29 on this computer here. I'll show it to you again. And let's see, we're about 27 today because it's a little bit warm in here right now. So my mega hash is right around 27. When I game, it does drop to about 17 or 18, but I still run it in the background even while I'm gaming. Um, it doesn't, if I play a really high-end game, I might close the mining rig. But most of the games I play aren't that high-end. So we're getting to the point where it, you know, if you're going to be using this as a computer, your return on investment goes way down because your cost to build it is more, obviously. Uh, but you're still making a quite big profit. And if you're only going to buy a very limited amount of machines, that's the way I would go. So now we're going to look at the open rig systems. Um, and we're going to go with six RX 570s and 580s. As we spoke about earlier, the price difference is only 20 bucks, and the 580 just makes so much more money. I would just forget the 570 altogether. Now, to build this open mining rig... I I can build you one for about $2,000 if you really, really want one. Um, 21 20 for the RX 580. Now, you're going to have wires hanging out. You're going to have multiple power supplies that you're going to have to sync up. You're going to have riser boards. It's going to be this two-tiered system. So, you know, if you're not in Phoenix, Arizona or willing to drive here, I don't think I'm going to feel confident shipping one of these with FedEx or UPS. They destroy stuff. And, I mean, I've had good luck shipping the gaming cases with FedEx and UPS because I put, I box them up well, put them in a huge thing, but they're all enclosed in a case. You know, I've never actually tried shipping one of these open riser rigs, um, but the only way I would feel confident in shipping it would be to pretty much mostly dismantle it, which would require the person on the other end reassembling it. So... Okay, well, that sounds like fun. So the other big problem with the open miner rigs is because of all the difficulty, they do have a lot of downtime. I've seen, I mean, the people I've talked to who run these six card mining rigs that are in open systems, which is pretty much what everybody does um, back here, you know, the, is they break a lot. They down, you know, you get the cat goes by or the kid comes by and, you know, you're putting it on the floor and you're getting dust and, you know, all these various variables. To me, it doesn't make sense. So let me keep sliding down, down the way. And this is where it does kind of make sense. So as we said before, we have our resale value. And these systems, because they're not a complete system, no one's going to buy a used open rig um, as a regular computer. You're, you, you're going to have to basically sell all the parts individually on someplace like eBay, which means you're going to take the absolute maximum percentage hit because you're not going to be selling a working system. Um, they also use, you know, a proportionally more power. I mean, per card, they're actually using a little bit less power, so that's a good thing. Um, you have a 12-month cost is going to be pretty high in electricity. 12-month uh, revenue is also pretty high. 
Um, but at the end of the day, our total profit is pretty high. But you're only talking about this is how much you make on one rig. But for that same money that you bought that rig, you could have bought a multiple of the smaller rigs. So that's why I love the number of how much do you get back from $10,000 invested. So the best bang for your buck is actually a six card rig. You know, 288% back. That's pretty awesome. So that's why I said, you know, if you're going to invest 10 grand and you want to manage this and make this like a full-time job managing these things, let's go and buy the six card rig. But if you can get some value out of actually having somebody use the computer or a multitude of other reasons, you would definitely want to go with one of these two card rigs. I think that's a much better uh, bang for the buck. So let's go with some ways that you can increase profits. Um, SSD versus hard drive. SSDs cost a lot more, but hard drives use a lot less electricity. So over the course of a year, the number, the amount of electricity, if you have a, an efficient hard drive, the amount of electricity that that hard drive is using is maybe an extra 10 to $12 of electricity during the entire year. But the cost of that SSD is going to be a good 50 to $60 more. So you will not, I repeat, not get your money back by buying an SSD. Yeah, you'll have a little bit more time and it'll be a little bit faster and that's fun. Um, is don't do it for money if you're just going to just go for a regular hard drive if you want to do that. Um, other ways to increase profits, don't sell any of your Ethereum until it appreciates. And at the end, in fact, don't sell any of your Ethereum until it hits a thousand bucks. It might take a couple months, I mean a couple years. But, you know, if you really are serious about this, just wait a couple years and sell the Ethereum then. Another idea is get free electricity. Uh, one option I had is I had like an insurance agency that their landlord gave them free electricity in their office building. So they decided to buy mining rigs um, because they're not paying for the electricity and they get infinite returns. So they bought a whole bunch of two card mining rigs. Um, I actually just sent two more off to somebody else this week and they're probably going to buy more soon too. So if you can get free in most class A commercial office buildings, the electricity is free. So if you rent in one of those, why not buy some mining rigs? Um, of course, if you buy in bulk, you can get slightly better pricing. Like say, for example, you bought 10 rigs from me. I'll probably give you, you know, maybe an 11th rig for free. That's about how much you're going to save on buying in bulk. So, you know, that's another one. And then, of course, the number one way is replace existing computers with miners. You know, if you're going to be upgrading anyway, now you're not looking at, if you say you're buying a computer that was going to cost you $700, then you could buy a mining computer for only $300. Now the real cost of that mining capability is only $300, not $700. And then it even goes down lower because say you decide to stop mining, you could pull out both the video cards, sell them for 200 bucks each, and have the computer for for you know six hundred dollars which you were going to buy a one for seven hundred anyway so it just makes really really good sense um so that's our assumptions we're gonna hope that you are interested in this stuff if you want to find out a little bit more you can go to our website web page ethereumrigs.com which is on the emerald computer site and that tells you exactly how to, uh, information about buying an Ethereum rig. The information is rather out of date, uh, so don't just follow me on that. I, I was very conservative with the numbers there, but I know you can make more money than that now. Another thing is, uh, I'm part of the Ethereum channel on Facebook, so if you are on Facebook, go to Ethereum, and you'll be able to uh, you know, find out what you want to do. There's the Ethereum channel. So, you know, if you want me to let you in, I can even let people in. See, so like, here's somebody. Let's see, I'll approve him. You know, we have fun. I'm one of the admins, so it makes it really good. <laughs> so, I'll look for the rest, rest later. Anyway, you guys have a great day. And if you need, 
anything from me, just don't hesitate to write a comment on this video or to catch me on the Ethereum channel. My name is Jason Dragon. And please, unless you're a computer expert, don't buy a six card rig, please. Anyway, have an awesome day and thank you for watching my really long video, uh, 30 minutes.